Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here. In this video, I'm going to go over some somewhat bearish news, then some bullish news, really taking a 20,000 foot view of Bitcoin and of the crypto market. So what I want to start out is this chart here, taking a look at the four year moving average. I covered this in the last video. But you can see right here that we still have quite a bit ways down to go. If we hit that four year moving average right now, it's at $21,626. So if we were to hit that price, I would be buying everything I could. So I'm kind of waiting until low 20s until I do another major buy myself. Take a look here at the Mayer multiple. You can see here that rarely does the price of Bitcoin ever cross this lowest green line right here. And you can see there is an oversold, the current price of Bitcoin, bearish, bullish, bullish extension, and overbought. So in 2017, at the peak, we were well into that red zone, which was the overbought zone. Back in April 2021, we got just into that red zone for a brief period of time, and then we began to obviously come back down. Now we are very, very low, almost touching that lowest green bar right here. So this is a bullish sign for me. So there's two tweets I want to cover. The first is going to be a little bit bearish coming from Equinometrics, then take a look at Will Clemente's latest thread on Bitcoin. Very, very bullish and exciting news and just some good stuff to remember. He says, if you are walking into a recession, which we pretty much are, it is better to be correlated to gold than to the stock market. He says, unfortunately, right now, Bitcoin is uncorrelated to gold and is pretty highly correlated to the S&P 500. So this chart shows the correlation of Bitcoin to gold right here. We have Bitcoin to the S&P 500 and then Bitcoin to the 10 year US Treasury. So after the COVID crash, we saw a much higher correlation between Bitcoin and the stock market, as you can see here. So the dots go higher into these 70, 80 percent correlation. So recessions like we've already seen so far with a stock market correction would most likely make the stock market go down a little bit more, if not a lot more. So that's what he's saying here is that a correlation to gold would be better. But then again, if we were correlated to gold, Bitcoin would not have seen the massive rise it did during the bull market. Gold did pretty much nothing over the last decade. So this correlation to gold would be great now. But if we were correlated to gold again, we would not have seen any of these gains that we've seen over the last couple years. And his last post before I get into some very, very bullish, exciting stuff is this. During the recessions that followed the dot-com bubble and the GFC, Great Financial Crisis, gold significantly outperformed the stock market. If Bitcoin stays highly correlated to the S&P 500, it is reasonable to expect that there is more pain to come. But I will say this, and this is what Will Clemente says in just a moment, that long term, these are incredible prices for Bitcoin and top crypto projects. But will there be more pain to the crypto market if we go into a full on recession and every news station saying we're in a recession? I think there will be. Maybe we'll go to the low 20s for Bitcoin. Maybe altcoins will take another 70 or 80% haircut. I don't know, but I can see that happening. So this first story just showing that gold did very well in the period after the recession for the dot-com bubble. And the same thing happened after the great financial crisis in 2008. So does this mean to sell everything and buy gold? No, it does not. But if you want to buy gold, Pax G, you can actually buy that on Celsius and you can actually earn yield on digital gold that can be redeemed for real gold if you want to. It wouldn't be a bad idea. I know some people think gold is dead. Personally, I do not think that gold is dead. I think that gold is going to have another major run and will break $3,000 pretty soon. So let's talk about this thread from Will Clemente, which I did retweet on my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, definitely do so. Link below. He said that Bitcoin is an exponentially growing monetary network that should be expected to reach 1 billion active users in the next decade decade. He says all disruptive tech goes through an S curve of adoption, reaching their main growth phase after roughly crossing the 10% threshold. So there's the early adopters. And then right when we cross this 10% line right here, we see that massive S curve, that hockey stick go up very, very aggressively. He then says this is a visual of some major technological adoption curves, including the internet, 
social media, the smartphone, the automobile, etc. So you can see it goes up very, very quickly for most things, and then the adoption rate begins to level off. So you can see here, you want to be buying or investing right at the beginning, you know, right at the 10, 20% mark. He then goes on to talk about Bitcoin. He says, now let's take a look at Bitcoin's user data. This is a visual of the cumulative sum of all unique entities that have ever existed on the Bitcoin network. So you can see it's gone from very, very little all the way up to 300 million or so Bitcoin entities. But then he says, we must also take into account the entities that are leaving as well. This chart is a visual of all the active unique entities on chain. So it's a little bit less. We have 30 million or so, a little over 30 million active unique entities. Now, this is where it gets pretty cool. According to this data, approximately 0.36% of the global population are users of the Bitcoin monetary network today. That is a crazy small number. 0.36%. Wow. So this chart shows the percent of global population using Bitcoin. And it is still tiny. So we're seeing this nice adoption curve here. But if you take a look at the axis right here, it's still 0.35, 0.36%. It's nothing. And this chart will blow your mind. Projecting this growth out into the future using a mean and a weighted mean of other historical adoption curves, this is what we expect Bitcoin's user growth to look like. So we are here right at the bottom, which you you know, can't even tell where we are. We're at like zero, right? Zero point whatever, three, six percent. We are at the very, very very beginning. We are here. Now, you do have to be convinced that Bitcoin is going to be globally adopted like smartphones, like the internet, like all of these technological advancements. I personally believe it will be. I personally believe that Bitcoin and other cryptos, I'm just saying Bitcoin to make this video kind of simple. I think that crypto tech, Bitcoin blockchain is going to be adopted by everybody on the planet. There are billions of people that cannot use traditional banks and Venmo and PayPal. They are unbanked. And with the Lightning Network, for example, using Bitcoin, they can just download an app on their Android cheap $10 smartphone and they can be connected to all the other billions of people on the planet and trade Bitcoin or basically converse with them economically. And he finishes this tweet with this. He says, this is the ultimate bullish case for Bitcoin in one simple visual, exponentially growing user growth, which we just saw right here, exponentially growing growth, juxtaposed with Bitcoin's pre-programmed increasingly deflationary monetary policy. This having to do with every four years, we have the halving cycle or halving cycle, and the amount of Bitcoin being mined is cut in half. So this yellow line here, this is the Bitcoin annual supply increase. It is going down over time. And then we're seeing the adoption of Bitcoin exponentially going up over time. So this video is really important for a few reasons. It's to give you that short term uncertainty. We don't know what's going to happen over the next one, two years with the recession and with all sorts of craziness happening in the world. But taking a look at technological adoption and knowing where Bitcoin is going to go, blockchain is going to go, crypto is going to go, how only 0.36% of the world is using Bitcoin, we are going to see a massive growth just like we did with the internet. And while that growth is going up, we are seeing the amount of Bitcoin being mined go down. It's really this incredible juxtaposition of what's going on right now, like Will showed in his chart. So I'm really excited. I'm super pumped. This was a great thread by Will. Definitely follow him on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter as well. I will be doing some more giveaways soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.